Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my trophy guide for Monster Hunter World and Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Open the map, go through the dialogue and start an expedition in the ancient forest. Open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Since this is not a quest, there won't be anything in the blue box. First, I will go over a trophy that can only be obtained during a certain time of day. Pay attention to the icon in the upper left corner. Said trophy can only be obtained during dusk or dawn. That can be recognized by the symbol being a half sun. Equip the capture net and follow me to a specific location. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint. This bug will always be here during that time of day. Aim with L2 and fire with R2 to capture the Prism Herkodrome and net you the trophy Rainbow Bright. Your wildlife map keeps track of where. Now I want you to follow me north and find an alternative campsite. We can set it up later to have another starting and fast travel spot for quests in this locale. Over here. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Now follow me up the tree where we can pick up our second Pelico gadget. Gathering a Pelico gadget will befriend this local stripe, which is required to unlock several trophies. Follow this feline and make sure to stay behind it to not lose track of it. We will also discover yet another campsite during the chase. If you do lose track of the feline, then simply backtrack until you spot them. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos.
Go through the dialogue to obtain the Flashfly Cage Gadget and the trophy First Trends for befriending your first Tail Raider. Now follow me down the tree to find the last campsite and initiate the next assignment. You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. Well, if we don't take care of that pest, the camp won't last a night. Oh, yeah. To return to base from an expedition, Open the wildlife map and switch to the world map. Then select While hunting the Kuleyaku, I want to teach you another mechanic. Whenever you see a slope or a ledge, I want you to instead see an opportunity. You can run over a ledge or slide down a slope and press X to perform a jump. Attack in mid-air to perform an aerial attack. Dealing enough damage with aerial attacks will have you mount your target. Repeatedly press triangle and hold R2 or tilt the L stick when it tries to throw you off until you topple it. This will give you a huge opening to attack and doing it for the first time also rewards you the trophy the bigger they are. I will also quickly mention that you can from now on run into other large monsters during most quests. This will basically always be a massive pain in the ass so either deal with it or keep your distance until they separate again. Take hits like that head on. Clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. Never underestimate an angry monster. Keep your distance and watch for a safe opening. Job hunting the Kuluyaku. Select Astera from the world map so we can go home. That's a piercing pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters.
After hunting down the Kuliaku, fast travel to the southwestern camp, slay a nearby Aptonoth and carve it. Once you are in possession of raw meat, go ahead and select the barbecue spit in your item bar. Use it to start roasting your meat. We want to make one well done steak which requires you to press a circle at the right moment. Press it when the meat turned slightly darker the second time to obtain the trophy, mmm, so tasty. Max out the BGM volume if you need a second indicator or wait till high rank and craft the hunter's life charm to help out with this. Now you can return from Expedition via the menu to wrap up this assignment. Go through the dialogue and you will unlock the northeastern camp in the ancient forest being campsite 1 out of 5 needed for a trophy. Talk to the resource center two more times and access the Complete Deliveries tab. We want to set up all available camps to make hunts quicker and also unlock two trophies. You can additionally hand in other deliveries if you want to, but I won't do so. We can already complete the delivery setting up camp Ancient Forest 1. I will blend in a map of the ancient forest with all mining outcrops and bone piles, in case you are missing some materials. This will be campsite 2 out of 5. Now speak to the commander, followed by the handler. You've done well. We're the ones to get it done! The fifth has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. Hey there. You can speed up the quest menu animation by holding R1. We now want to beat the assigned quest Urgent Pookie Pookie Hunt. Our next target can poison you. While poisoned, you will constantly take damage. There will be antidotes in the blue box and you can craft antidotes with antidote herbs, which are shown on the map I will blend in now. Simply open the menu and you will see the crafting list in which you can convert antidote herb into antidote or herbal medicine. Now we search for the Pookie Pookie and hunt it down. Flies as a guide and they'll lead you right to him. This is a perfect example of how horribly messy your hunt can get if multiple other monsters join in on the fun.
run through your stamina. Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. I get really lucky here and the Engineth actually dropped an Engineth scale. If this also happens to you then, after this quest, you can go to the smithy and upgrade your weapon early. Beating this assignment rewards you with the trophy, nothing stops this commission. Send someone out to see if that slag will lead us to Zora Madras. You've done well. Go through the dialogue and accept the next assignment, the best kind of quest. Begin the Elder Dragon investigation. Make sure you know what you need to do. So now we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Hey there, partner. During the first section of this quest, we simply have to wait for the NPCs to reach some key locations. First, follow me to area 5. I'm so excited to go out and see this new piece of evidence! The slag was found in the desert area of the Wildspire. Guide us there safely, partner! Open your crafting list and uncheck auto crafting for flash pots by pressing triangle. From the ancient forest. Yes, the wild spire waste features a mixture of dry land and swamps. Which... Then gather the four flash bucks close by and wait for the others to get to this point. The water filters down through the sand and collects in the lower areas, thus creating a mire. Oh great, we get to go uphill now. Come on now, my dear handler, put your back in it! Look at that... 
insect? Is that some type of beetle? The wildlife here are quite resilient creatures. <laughs> they have adapted excellently to the dry climate. Even the plants have learned to survive. The fruit scattered throughout the area has a hard shell that helps retain moisture. Dear me, we made it. Can we have a break now? Look, the wild spire. That's where we'll find what we came for. But we still have a ways to go. Well, on we go. Now, simply follow the cart for a minute to hit the next key location. Downhill might be worse. This is so heavy. After the roar, encounter the Rathian and simply leave her be. We quickly want to find another campsite in this locale. You know what this means, my friends. In times like these, it is uh, important to uh, stay calm and run for your life. Go, go, go. Just move on through. You might be able to use your slinger to create some kind of noise and distractor. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Now, make your way to the massive slag and fight the Baroth. Beware its mud puddles and charge attacks. Go, go, go! Run for your life! Finally close. Hell hath no fury like a Rathian score. Well, like any Rathian, actually. But she could provide the commission with valuable data. Hunter, I couldn't trouble you for a sample, could I? I was aware that Zora Magdaros was an enormous beast, but I am in shock over how gargantuan it really is! Yes, it certainly seems to exceed the measurements in all the guild's writings. I wonder, how many years does it take for a beast like this to grow to such an enormous size? Finally, I thought we'd never get here. Look at it. Glorious. It is absolutely massive. What a magnificent specimen. We're almost. 
almost there. Keep it up. The evidence is within sight. You've done a fine job, Hunter. Let's see what kind of... will change a monster's course. type of slinger ammo. Attacking the part it's latched onto deals blunt damage. by the slag.
Good to see you. Skip through the dialogue okay. and unlock the eastern camp in the Wildspire Waste, being campsite 3 out of 5. Open the map and press square to access the world map. Then go on an expedition in the Wildspire Waste. Go all the way to the north and make sure to pick up some rocks on the way. Jump down the hole and get through a crawl space to find this lockhouse tribe, the Protectors. They will issue a critical bounty which requires you to capture three of their own in different areas of this locale. You can see them on the wildlife map, but your spots might not mirror mine. Equip the capture net from your item bar, crouch and sneak up on them from behind. Then aim and shoot your capture net to capture all three. You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Fast travel to the eastern camp. On the way back to the hideout, I want you to stop in area 12. Use your stones to shoot the Vespoids and carve them. We need two Vespoid shells. You can carve 
materials off of monsters. These materials are vital for producing new equipment and upgrading what you have. You can find more Vespoids down there. You can also find more Vespoids along the northern edge of Area 8. Make your way back to the Protector's hideout to obtain the Shield Spire gadget and befriend the Protector tribe. <laughs> Lastly, follow me to find the last campsite around a corner and then return from the expedition. That concludes this episode. I will see you in the next one. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos.